now we have seen how to create a table by defining a custom data set and we have passed value to that custom data source from the parameter now we'll see how to sort a particular column in the table go to the table double click the table here go to the nutrition data set here select that sort fields and click create sort field here we can able to see all the fields which we already have so here in this case i want to sort everything based on the nutrition name you can select any field as you wish here this is a field and then we need to make sure we are doing it in ascending or descending order for now i am fine with ascending order so now select the ascending now we are done now save this jrxml and here this is how our previous report looks like we have protein carbohydrate and it is not sorted in ascending order copy this jrxml from here and here replace the jrxml i also want to alter uh, this carbohydrate to contain capital letter c now we are done now we will stop this application and we will start this application again now refresh this now the nutrient column is sorted by the nutrient name we can able to see this is sorted in the ascending alphabetical order so by this way we can simply sort any column in a table now we'll see how to create a chart in the jasper report for this i will create a simple pie chart and then for this pie chart i will also create a custom data source so here we will create a chart by using a new data set so click the nutrition report and click create data set here in this case i want to name this as macro nutrient data set and here click create empty data set and click finish now we can able to see we have created a macro nutrient data set go to the fields so here i want new fields to be created the field names are the macro nutrient name so first i will create a new field here and this is macro nutrient name so macro nutrient name and this type is string and then next one is the macro nutrient value so here i will create another field this field name is macro macro nutrient value and this is of integer data type so select integer data type so we have created our macronutrient data set in the macronutrient data set we have created two different field one is macronutrient name and then we have created macronutrient value so now we will drag and drop the chart to this detail section so if you drag and drop the chart and then here i want to selecting the pie chart and click next so here in this case you can select any data set so now we can able to see our application has three data set one is the main data set so the main data set is the data set which is directly tied to the report so here the fields are the one which are tied to the main data set and then we have created nutrition data set this nutrition data set we have used for this particular table now we have created macronutrient data set so here in the drop down i need to select macronutrient data set and then here in the series i need to select click this and add and then i will select the macronutrient name so the series is the macronutrient name and then the values click okay make sure you are giving the key as the series here the key is the string here and then the values we have given a macronutrient value so macronutrient value is the value and then label what is the label we want to show so here in this case i want to show the label as the value so click the value and uh, since this is a integer data type i want to make this as a string so plus double quotes if there are three macronutrient the macronutrients are fat carbohydrate and protein uh, they have fifth fourth third as the label likewise we are giving our labels as the number corresponds to the particular macronutrient let's say your pie chart has like uh, 10 sections and you don't want to show all the 10 sections so here you can show max slice to show for example uh, it will sort automatically based on the higher value and then it will show only the number of sections mentioned here and for example if i have mentioned 5 and then there are 10 different values 
then it will show the first four and in the fifth slice it will show all the other values as other so first four is sorted based on the descending order of the value so by that way we no need to create a pie chart which has multiple different sections even for very low values so we can create a other legend all the small values will be clubbed together now we have created our base and then click finish uh, now we need to make sure we are passing this data set values as a parameter so i will create another parameter here for this i will give the name as macronutrient data source and this is of type jr bin collection data source click the jr bin collection data source we have created the parameter here and then go to the chart section click the pie so here if you expand this chart you can able to see the data set here and the chart data set click use jrd data source expression here in the jrd data source expression click the parameter and here we have defined our own parameter which is macronutrient data source and click the macronutrient data source and click finish now what we have done is we have done the exact similar thing how we have done in the table we have created a parameter in the parameter we are passing in the data source so this parameter lives in the main report and we are passing this parameter to the main report and this parameter holds the value of macronutrient data source the macronutrient data source is of type jr bin collection data source and then from there we are passing this to our uh, data set which is which we have defined so the our data set is macronutrient data set and this is the data set which we have used in the pi and here for this data set we are getting the value from the parameter now we will save this jr xml go to source and select everything in copy and now we need to create another model and i will name this as macronutrient and then the macronutrient we have created two different fields one is private string macronutrient name so we can get this value directly from the nutrition report jr xml In the macronutrient data set we have uh, the macronutrient name here and uh, copy and paste this macronutrient name and then private int macronutrient value now we can use the lumbuck for getter and setter sort data annotation and then we also create another annotation which is at all args constructor now we have uh, created our bean and this bean has two values one is macronutrient name and macronutrient value this is what we have defined in the macronutrient data set fields now we will go back to the nutrition report application and we will create a uh, three different object for this macronutrient and i already created the three different objects as we have seen here we need to create the list again and we need to put all this macronutrients objects to that list a new list with macronutrient list and then here we need to populate this macronutrient list with macronutrient object we need to create another data source jr collection data source i will name this as macronutrient data source and this should take value from macronutrient data set perfect and then we need to create another parameter and here instead of nutrition data set go to the jr xml this is macronutrient data set so select the nutrition application and give this macronutrient data set as the key and here instead of the nutrition data source give macronutrient data source and now we have defined our macronutrients bean and we have created three different objects and in the from this object we have created a list and we have populated that list with this three different macronutrient objects and then we have created jr bean collection data source and this jr bean data source as a new data source which we have created in the jr xml and that data source we are passing as a parameter to the main report and stop application and rerun the application again report generated successfully go back to our report refresh this here we have done a mistake so here this parameter name we have given it as macronutrient data source that's why we are not getting any value here so now we need to make sure we are changing this to macronutrient data set 
we'll save this one go to source control a control c so now what mistake we have done is we we didn't exactly match the parameter name now run this application again now go to the report we can able to see the chart is now rendered correctly so now we can able to see the key as the carbohydrate fat and then the protein which is macronutrient name and then the value is a macronutrient value and the label is the macronutrient label so here in this case we have given this as a macronutrient label value and you can even give this label as the macronutrient name thanks for watching if you feel this is helpful subscribe to this channel and like this video thanks for watching thanks for subscribing